This video is about editing the individual tabs within your app. The first thing you want to do is log into your CMS system, which we've already done here. And when you do that, you'll see this screen in front of you. Some of the menu items may be slightly different on the left hand side here, depending on what packages you purchase from us, but the layout will be the same. And there'll be a big orange button in the middle that access admin hub, which is the one we want to press. So click on that and it will take us to a new screen, the admin hub screen, where all the packages that you have access to through the system will be in front of you. Now again, your screen may not look quite like this, depending on what packages you bought, but the layout will be similar and what there will be is an orange button, which is the one we're looking for, called App Editor. So if we click on the App Editor button, it takes into the App CMS. Now, the likelihood is, if you've not already logged in, you'll be taken to a login page rather than this, and in that login page, you'll put your app credentials, which we will have given you. If you've lost them or can't remember what they are, then contact us and we'll furnish you with a new set. What you'll see in front of you, though, once you've logged in, is this layout screen. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on this black portion at the top here, which effectively is three big tabs. Functionality, which is the page we're in here now, content and appearance. And what we want to do is click on content. So we click on content here, and what is laid out in front of you is all the tabs within your app and your ability to click on any one of them and access the content that is within and then update in real time on the cloud, the app itself. So for the purpose of this video, I'll pick the last tab here, which is an Around Us tab. So if I click on that, you'll see it says Loading. And what will then happen is, beneath that, you can scroll down, is the content of the tab. Whatever tab you've clicked on will have a different layout screen here, but the format is the same. Now an Around Us tab, or we've called it Around Us, is one that enables you to put a number of different locations into your app that can quickly pop up on a user's mobile screen and they can go to them or find information about them accordingly. So for the purposes of this, we've called them parking, cash and toilets. Um, three useful things that you might want to look for in any town. If you change that, those names, which you can do perfectly easily here, always make sure you click the update setting. If you want to change the colors, so as you see, cash appears in green there, click on here and change to 20 kilo you wish. But what we'll do now is we'll add a new location just to show how easy it is to do. So you'll see we've no POIs or points of interest. So we want to add one here by clicking on add POI. All that will happen here is your general information screen will open. So if we put car park number one, I could spell park, that would help. Car park number one, we can choose the tab there. So yes, parking. Then we might want to put a little bit of info about the car park here. We can change it on the simple editor here. Um, add little links and that sort of thing into if we wanted to on here. So we click there then the editor, insert edit link. Um, we can put in the link, HTTP, oh, colon, our local dot town, for instance. What that will mean is then someone clicks on the car park information, it will take them into this page, and when they click on the info button there, it will take them to our local town website or whatever you put in. But it's up to you, you can put any content here, and if you are advanced in programming anyway, you could use HTML as well to put pretty much anything within this information screen. Website, if you want to put a website link, um, email link, telephone, and a icon of any sort here which will pop up on the screen. But for the purposes of today's video, all we'll do very quickly is show how you add a location. So if you put any location into here, so if I put a postcode, let's say, uh, in London, that puts that up, and that's it. That's all we need to do. I won't put the default icon here and click Save. So that's been saved. Now what will happen is when you run the app, you'll see that that page is live and running within it with the content that you've just put in and the layout, the layout of the screen will be exactly the same for whatever page or tab it is you're editing. The one final thing to cover in this video is a background image here. 
What that will do is open with a white or back screen. If we wanted to put our own picture, we could just click on here. You've got choices of tablet, phone, iPhone 4 or phone. And what we can do is set the system automatically, or it is set automatically, I should say, so as the iPhone 4 one will display if you only put one background in. And all you would need to do then is click on select and either select one of the generic images here, or if you wanted to, you could upload your own image. That's very straightforward. So for the purposes of today's video, that's it. Thank you, hope that was simple.